How's it going everyone? My name is Dan and I'm a brand specialist with Alpine. Are you having trouble deciding which Alpine DSP is right for you? It's okay, we're going to take a closer look at the similarities and differences of both the PXE 0850X and the PXE X09. Both DSPs offer an amazing amount of features and tuning flexibility, but also do have some differences. Let's start by going over what both the PXE 0850X and the PXE X09 have in common. We'll just call them the 850X and the X09 for short. Both DSPs come with a controller that allows you to not only control the master volume of the system, but select one of the six EQ presets that can be stored in the DSP, as well as change what source you're listening to and subwoofer level. They also come with a Bluetooth module that will allow you to connect to the DSP using an app on your smartphone to fully set up and tune, as well as stream music directly to your DSP. This is pretty cool because if you are planning on only using your phone as a source and let's say a classic car, you don't even have to put in a head unit. Both the 850X and the X09 can connect to not only aftermarket head units using low level RCA inputs, but to factory audio systems using high level inputs. This makes either DSP a great option if you're looking to upgrade your sound without changing out the factory head unit. You can also connect a digital source to the coax or optical toslink inputs. Now let's get into the tuning capabilities that both the 850X and the X09 have. Both DSPs have a 31 band parametric or graphic EQ on each output channel. Crossovers and signal delay are also fully adjustable on each channel as well. This can all be adjusted on either a computer connected with the included USB cable or through Bluetooth on your smartphone. Pretty much both the 850X and the X09 can be great tools at dialing in the sound of your system. On the differences, starting with size, as you can see, the X09 is larger than the 850X. The main reason why is because the X09 has 16 channels of input and output. Let's take a closer look. The X09 is pretty unique because each of the 16 inputs can be set to either high level or low level or both. The amount of inputs can really come in handy if you're having to sum a large amount of channels from a factory amplifier. However, the 850X has six dedicated high level and six dedicated low level inputs, each being a separate source. The high level inputs can also be used for summing, but if you need more than six channels, you might need to step up to the X09. Now the low level inputs have RCA connectors, so they're meant to be connected to an aftermarket head unit. As far as outputs, the X09 has 16 fully customizable outputs that are low level meant to connect to external amplifiers. The 850X is also different with its outputs. It has 12 low level outputs and the first eight outputs are mirrored as high level outputs. This is from the built in 25 watt per channel amplifier. This is very unique because you can power up to eight speakers directly off the DSP. Now do keep in mind that this is only 25 watts per channel. So if you're going to use this feature, make sure you're using speakers that are very efficient and don't need much power. Going back to tuning capabilities, the X09 features a 10 band parametric or graphic EQ on each input channel, as well as phase crossover and volume adjustment. That helps make sure that whatever input you're using, you can get the flattest signal possible. The X09 also has a built in RTA that can be assigned to any of the output channels. That way you can see exactly what your signal looks like. There's also a built-in signal noise generator, so you can play pink noise, white noise, or a sine wave at any level out of any channel. That really comes in handy when you're tuning and setting up amplifier gains. The X09 is also high-res audio compliant, so it will make sure that you're getting the most out of your high-res music. Another difference is the software. Each DSP has a different app, so when you're downloading, make sure you're grabbing the right app. The same goes for the PC software. All of these can be found on our knowledge base at kb.alpine-usa.com. So what DSP is right for you? Well, if you're wanting better sound and complete control over your tune, then both the 850X and the X09 will have you covered. If you need more than 12 channels, then the X09 is for you. If you're building up your system in stages and you're going to do a DSP now and maybe an add an amp later, then the A50X might be right for you because of its built-in amplifier. If you're building a no compromises, high res audio system and you want the best sound possible, that would be the X09. In other words, the right DSP really depends on what you're looking for. Either way, Alpine has you covered. 
Thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully this helped out in choosing between the 850X and the X09. If you want to watch more DSP content, check out the Alpine TV YouTube channel. If you want to take a closer look at the X09 PC software, check out this episode of What's New to Goo. He has a really awesome guest in that episode. Once again, my name is Dan, and we'll see you in the next video.